So how do you go about creating this natural powerhouse filtration system for your swimming pond? Well, let me show you how you can create your own bog filter. Work to that ranch? That's right. So you want the bog about 10 to 20% the size of your, your natural swimming pond. Or if you have fish like I do, you want it about 25 to 30% of the size of your, your, your main pond. And when you dig, so in like the digging video, if you haven't seen that, make sure to watch that. You want the perimeter line, you want that level. And the low part, you want to put where you're going to place the flagstone or your first part of the waterfall. Because when it overflows or when you, you put that 7,000 gallon per hour water through these PVC lines, it's gonna start filling up quick and you're gonna want the lowest part where you want to direct it to the top of the waterfall down, not to the sides, right? So if this was the lowest in, the, all the water would be coming out right here right now. The, the liner, remember I have the double liner directing that water all down that flagstone around the front of the bog that's facing the pond. If you wanna know more about that, make sure and check out my waterfall video of how I created the waterfall. I go in more into of that double liner. And what you're gonna do is you have the flexible PVC pipe that comes from that pond pump. You're having it all the way up alongside the swimming pond, all the way up here. Okay, so this is actually that flexible PVC pipe all the way up here. So this is the end of it right here. And so this connects to the connectors for my hard PVC pipes that are two inches. So this is two inch going to hard line PVC pipes that are two inch. From here, I got connectors connecting three 10 foot line PVC pipes that are spaced about every foot and a half together. And at the end of those, I got a 90 going straight up and I have a washout pipe. So I, I screwed on a, a male connector and it, so it, it screws onto the top on each of those three 10 footers. And so if I get clogged or if I wanna flush out my, my PVC system from the pump, I just unscrew that male adapter and have the water to come rushing out there and to clean out the pipes. And also on those 10 foot PVC pipes, I cut a slit with just like a circular saw or a angle grinder or, or something that's just a saw. So it would be right here. And I just go in and I, I do a slit, just a little slit about every inch. And that is alongside those three 10 footers filled with that pond water. That's where the, the water is going to come through those 10 footers up and come through this pea gravel and filter and give these plants the nutrients they need from the fish and plant waste and make these guys just grow very, very big and healthy. Another thing with the bog is that you want it flat and level the ground. Why? Is because when you have those three 10 foot long PVC pipes where the pond water comes through those slits, if it's uneven, if those are uneven, all the water say, if this section of the pond is lower on the ground, those 10 foot pipes are gonna be like this and most of the water will hit that bottom, that left, PVC pipe and maybe some in the middle, but barely any up here. So you wanna make sure it's level. I didn't do that, so I actually had to raise some of it with a rock propped up on this end because this was lower. So I actually just propped up this end. So make sure those three or however many you have of those hard PVC pipes where the water comes up are level. That way, all these plants get the nutrients. So after you do the piping, you want to put down pea gravel. You want 3 8 pea gravel. That is the optimal type of gravel you want. You don't want a bog filter that is more than 12 inches. I ended up for my bog system is about seven and a half foot uh, wide by about 12 and a half foot long. And I put in about two cubic yards, which is about 6,000 pounds of pea gravel in here. 
So that's how I, I filled it up. Mine is probably eight to 10 inches deep of pea gravel or so. And now it's time to plant, to plant your, your fun plants. Have fun with it. Go to the, the nursery or look on Craigslist or whatever. Get some, some bog plants from your friends or whatever. Have some fun with it. Do a lot of research. I did a lot of research. What you want to really look for is try not to get invasive or these crazy root systems that will, you know, go in and just destroy your piping or whatever. Try not to get invasive uh, pond plants, bog plants. And when you take it out of the container, say you get four inch containers, don't, you don't need to worry about shaking off the dirt and all of those, that fertilizer. Just take it out of the pot, dig the 3 8 pea gravel, and then put that plant with that natural soil and all that in that pea gravel, and then uh, cover it up with that pea gravel. A fresh, new, natural swimming pond it's not gonna have all the nutrients from the main pond to cycle through. So it'll use that nutrients that are just from that pot. One of the things that you might do for aesthetics is have the back, I mean, these, these cannas are, this is uh, getting in the winter. These cannas are dying right now. I'm gonna be getting these ready. Hopefully I'll do a video of how I get this ready for winter, my bog system. The flowers are already gone and the lizard tails are all browned up. So it's not the prettiest looking bog system right now, but. Anyways, try to get the taller, larger plants, like the canna lilies, like I have, in the back. And then maybe the middle, medium, in the front. Short plants, ground cover, because then you could see and enjoy that. The back one's tall, and then you could see all of your plants from your viewing point, whether it's your house, your deck, wherever you have your, your morning coffee, you wanna enjoy the bog plants. And also you wanna plant them about every foot or two away from each other. You don't need to, I was worried, I'm like, I think I did 10 in the start in this one. I'm like, man, should I get more? Like, man, I really love the greenery. And, but you know what? You don't got to worry about it because by the time in next year or maybe uh, before then, like mine, it took over. I mean, it just flourishes with this, this ecosystem thing. Uh, God's design got it down, okay? So it just takes over. So uh, have fun with it. It's fun. Okay, this, this whole system is fun. And then just let it, let it just flourish with that, that plant and fish waste.